everyone and welcome to a super quick, super awesome episode here on the My Gardener channel. What I want to cover today super quickly is how to prevent mold when seed starting. So the first way that I will say to prevent mold is just to create an environment that's not hospitable for mold. The problem is, is seed starting requires warm temperatures, high humidity, and something for them to sprout in. Unfortunately, that's the same thing mold requires to grow. So what we can do is we can kind of eliminate as many of those factors as possible while still giving the seeds as much of a chance of sprouting as possible. One way that we can do that is to not sprout our seeds in organic matter. Oftentimes, people like to use compost, people like to use um, things like uh, pure worm castings, things like that. By using a soilless potting mixture, you can take out as much organic matter that might host some of those mold spores. There's still mold in the air, but if you can reduce it, you can help cut down on some of that. So by using a soilless potting mixture, that's the first way. The second way is by not using an organic pot. <laughs> so oftentimes people like to use those peat pots or cow, cow poop pots and, uh, or newspaper pots. Those are all really great. They're biodegradable and they're environmentally friendly. However, so oftentimes as gardeners, we tend to trade a successful garden for being environmentally sustainable. Uh, I use these plastic thing, I use these plastic trays here to start my seeds in, and then I transfer them into the plastic little square pots. Now, you might call me uh, an environmental hater, uh, an, envir an environment killer, but the bottom line is the fact that mold can't grow on plastic, and oftentimes those pots hold a lot of moisture and they end up molding. And so you choose what you want, um, but I like mold-free plants, I like mold-free soil, because it can hurt the health of your plants. And I tend to reuse my stuff for five, six years, so it, it's got its fair share of use. The next thing you can do is increase airflow. Mold really likes stagnant air. So if you have air blowing across your plants, it not only will help strengthen the stems, it's gonna cut down on mold because it's gonna dry out the surface because they like that kind of dormant air uh, and damp environment. So that's gonna help with that. And then the very last thing you can do is we have a video on how to create a baking soda uh, fungicide. And it's great for tomatoes in the summertime. It's great for battling powdery mildew on squashes and cucumbers and stuff like that. But it's also great for cutting down mold. Oftentimes you get a little, a little mold on the top and even though you're starting your seeds in plastic trays and you're using a soilless potting mixture and you're using a fan, sometimes you still get mold. That's inevitable, it, it will happen sometimes. So all you have to do is mix one tablespoon, yes, one tablespoon of your baking soda into a gallon of water. It's a very, very light solution because you just wanna use it as a preventative before the seeds sprout. If you have seeds sprouting, do not use this method. Use other methods to, uh, to try to combat it because it can hurt the little seedlings. This is a very light solution that you spray on as you water your seedlings. The seeds won't mind a bit when they sprout, stop, and hopefully that will help prevent some of that mold because oftentimes the mold will take hold before your seedlings sprout. Once your seedlings sprout, oftentimes the mold uh, really doesn't take hold as much because there are already roots established in there, taking up nutrients and really kind of claiming that space. So oftentimes gardeners see the mold occur right then and there. Um, and then the very last thing you can do, I guess, is just to start outdoors. Oftentimes we really like to start seeds indoors, but starting seeds indoors, you, you need some, you need to kind of replicate an environment. Whereas outdoors, the molds don't really occur that much because there's already stuff to kind of combat that. The natural ecosystem kind of works that way so mold isn't growing rampant. So if you wanna start your seeds outdoors, oftentimes you can have uh, way more success preventing the mold just naturally by starting your seeds right in ground and, and that works as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick episode. I know it's a super quick one, but it's loaded with information for the beginning gardeners. So if you have any comments or questions, they'll post them in the comments box below. I'd be glad to answer. And let me know what your seed's starting. Let me know what you're using to seed start. And also let me know if you've ever used any of these tricks to help prevent mold and how they work for you. So I'll talk to you all later. This is Luke from the My Gardener channel, hoping you are growing big or going home. And I'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.